Hi everyone, Seth Alchemist here. First of all, I would like to thank you very, very much for your subscriptions, for your support. I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are wonderful. Today is a tarot reading for you, and it's going to be about what is your purpose? What did you come here to do? What is your goal from this lifetime? What is your purpose? Why were you reincarnated? What are you meant for? Let's see what spirit has for you. I'm going to use this beautiful tarot deck to channel the message for you and see what spirit wants to communicate to you. Okay, let's get right to it. Kerenzuk mil karochen sum karefikes ileren. Interesting. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> the first card that I pulled here was the Tower card, by the way. That's the first card I pulled. The Tower. Followed by the a knight of wands and then we have the empress reversed and then at the bottom of the deck i want to show you what was here at the bottom the star this is it's is a this is the energy of a mysterious reading this is very what's going on here we started with the tower card but we're talking about purpose we're not talking about what's happening in your life or what's going to happen but we're talking about what's your purpose in this lifetime what did you come here to do here the energy i'm reading from this and the reason why the first tower card was picked here is what i'm hearing from spirit is there's something that happened in your past life this is connected to a past life there was a tower moment and this tower moment has to do with how you were living your past life how you were um, what the things you were doing in your past life it, they were not good it was it was a mess and it's almost like you came back in this reincarnation to become the star this is why this was at the bottom of the deck that's why the the, the first three cards they were all uh, representing what What's the reason you came back in this lifetime? What's the purpose? What's the purpose of this lifetime? The bottom of the deck was the star card. The purpose of this lifetime is to gain back your star uh, status. You are the star. But you were losing this position in your past life. There was a tower moment. And this is not just a tower moment. This is a representation of the, the whole past life. I'm feeling that your whole life was like a tower moment. This, this, this doesn't sound really good. Hence why there is the Empress reversed. That's why the Empress was reversed. So, and we have also the Knight of Wands. So you were someone very important and you, you were rich and you had certain power, the Empress power. But you chose violence and you chose power and control. That's why we have the Nine of Wands, fire. You chose fire to rule or to, to do the things that you want to do. You wanted to control things. You, you wanted people to do it your way. It was like my way or the highway kind of energy. And this whole life was driven by ego, by power, by uh, conquering by just trying to control anything that you can. You want it to be in control of everything. And things didn't end well. Things ended up in a tower moment. And um, it's even related to the way you died. You died uh, in kind of not a good way, not a peaceful way. Um, and you came back in this lifetime to be the star. So let's elaborate more about the purpose of this lifetime, you being the star, because we kind of have an idea of where this is coming from, from the past life energy. 
Let's elaborate more. It's very interesting. I'm hearing, I'm hearing something came to me and I have to say it, redemption. I'm hearing you came back for redemption. You came back for a second chance. I'm hearing, I'm hearing second chance, second chance, second chance. It's almost like someone told you, I'm going to give you a second chance. What you did before was not good. You're back for a second chance. Redemption. That's what I'm hearing. And I just had to say, this even had, didn't have anything to do with tarot. Let's pull a couple more cards and read them. Look at the cards here. We have the uh, Seven of Cups reversed. And then we have the Five of Cups upright. And we have the Knight of Swords reversed. Your purpose in this lifetime is to fix everything that you weren't able to fix in your past life. Be more loving. Be less um, violent. Less uh, power-driven. Bring down your ego to earth. Ground yourself. Connect to earth. And make sure that you start doing things from love, from the heart center. That everything has to revolve around the love energy. You came here to not do things by force. Not to try to have control over everything. You came here to learn about love. To learn about what it is to do things from love and not the other way around. Because here the energy of the Five of Cups is not a pleasant energy. It's not the energy of love. It's the energy of you not feeling love for something. So you came here to start feeling that love, to learn about what, what is loving, what to love something, what is that? To do something from love. You're here to learn about that. Because not everything is about power, not everything is about um, doing things uh, by force. And we have the Seven of Cups reversed. So here, also the energy of learning about the unknown. Spirit wants you in this reincarnation to learn about trusting the unknown, to learn about the fact that there is magic, that magic exists, that there are things that you can't comprehend and it's okay if you don't comprehend them, that sometimes you have to trust in the unknown and trust your intuition. Not everything is scientific, not everything has to be planned. You came here to learn about that as well. So um, there's a lot of learning to do in, there's a lot of learning for you to do in this lifetime because the way you were driving your life in your past life was, was very, it was very different. It was all about, um, it was very human in a way. It was like all about conquering and power and control. It's in a way how the, People in control nowadays, the elite or whatever you want to call them, that's how they are. That's literally how they are. So in your past life, you were like that. So you're here to learn the opposite of that. Love, peace, how to trust the unknown, how to believe in magic, how to see uh, this beautiful side of, of earth and of humans and nature and the animals and to help the people in need or to help just you know just if you see a bug stuck indoors how can you, do you have um, the ability to help it and take it outdoors something like that instead of just stepping on it um, you came here to learn about these even small things that all emanate from love from spirit Hermiting. This is this is your hermit reincarnation. <laughs> you, the latter I mentioned, you can only learn through hermiting. You came here to um, to be a hermit in this reincarnation, to learn about the beautiful things that you didn't have the chance to 
learn or to even know in your past life. And maybe it was not your fault. Maybe that's what you were taught in your past life. Maybe you were just um, forced to do those things in your past life. Maybe it was out of your control. But in this lifetime, you're here to be a hermit. You're here to live in peace, to live not surrounded by too many people, not to be to have a lot of friends and distractions and this and that and going here and there. No, you're here to just live in peace and harmony, learn about the beauty of life, the beauty of nature, and just uh, appreciate the small things. Appreciate the small things in life, such as breathing. <laughs> The ability to breathe, the ability to see a leaf moving from the window in a tree. And that's what I'm seeing right now as I'm talking to you. There's a beautiful wind and this beautiful lush tree and the leaves are moving and it's just beautiful. It's simple. It's very uh, mundane, but it's so beautiful. You're here to learn about the small things that matter the most, which you were clueless about before. A hermit. Learn how to be the hermit. And the hermit eventually becomes the wise master when he spends too much time by himself in the dark, in nature. Then he eventually harnesses the wisdom of the universe. You see he's standing and behind him is the universe because he's harnessing the wisdom of the universe. So you're here to harness that wisdom. And you might be wondering, well, don't we all come here for a purpose to deliver? Your purpose doesn't have to always uh, do things for other people. That's one thing that is uh, misunderstood. And I hear a lot in the New Age community and in New Age books, it's always about like serving, 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 helping others. Yes, yes, that's amazing. If you can do that, do it as much as you can. I'm not saying don't do it. But sometimes... A purpose for a, per for a person is to just learn about how to be connected to spirit, how to be in peace with yourself, and how to learn about the small things of life. Because a lot of people want to help, 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 but they can't even help themselves. A lot of people want to fix something, but there's so many things broken in their own lives. A lot of people want to help others to connect to spirit, but they themselves don't know how to connect to spirit. A lot of people want to help others see the signs from the universe, but they, them, they themselves cannot read the signs of the universe. They struggle to read the signs, they struggle to hear spirit, but they want to help others connect to spirit. How does that make sense? You yourself can't fully hear spirit, yet you want to tell others about how to connect to spirit? That's just ego. That's not you wanting to help. That's you feeding your ego, thinking that you're better than others, thinking that I can help others, but you yourself struggle to connect to spirit. So the purpose of uh, some of you has nothing to do with helping other people. And eventually you help other people by helping yourself. That just works hand in hand. When you help yourself, you help other people automatically because you're inspiring others around you. you. Others see you and they get inspired. So you're already helping other people. So don't worry about helping other people. Right now, it's about learning more about who you are, about yourself, about how to connect to spirit, how to be um, uh, attuned to spirit, how to hear the signs, and um, how to become the hermit. Yeah, we have the strip here. I just want to say it because I have to say the message that came to me as I pulled the card. Strength reversed. You have to just learn that not everything has to be done through power and through control. Not everything is through force. And it's even written here, force. Can you, can you see it? It's written in French, la force. And not everything is through force. Not everything is through strength. Sometimes you have to let things go you're here to learn that sometimes you don't have control over things and actually most of the time you have control over nothing you just don't know it yet so you have to ride the flow of the universe follow the air 
as how Inawich says it. Follow the air and see where it takes you. Okay? Not everything is about being uh, controlling. And when you do so, you can get back to the, your emperor state. Emperor state, emperor state. If you learn how to connect to spirit, if you learn about the small things about life that most people uh, omit or ignore, when you connect to these beautiful small things that actually make what life is, then you can become the emperor. Because have you noticed that in the beginning, in your past life, I just remembered and I want to mention it, in your past life you were the empress, but reversed. You were not being the emperor, the proper way to be in the empress, you were doing a lot of uh, things in the wrong way. You were kind of not being a good empress. So this is your chance, and I said you came here for redemption. You came here to become the star. And I mentioned what needs to be done for you in this lifetime, and then this card came up. This is your redemption. You can go back to your empress state. And here it's the emperor, it means you know, they're interchangeable. Emperor, Empress, in this specific reading. That means you can, you have a chance to go back to your Empress state or Emperor state. But now you're going to do it the right way. That's why it's upright and not reversed. Now you're going to do it the right way because now you have harnessed the energy of spirit. You have learned about spirit. You have learned about transformation. You have learned about the beautiful things in life and that things should be done from love. Things are not always from power. That nothing can be gained from power, like how you've done it before. Beautiful energy. And one last card to finish this reading. We have these three of cups. Oh, let me show you the bottom of the deck. With the Hierophant. <laughs> Major Arcana at the bottom of the deck. In this lifetime, if you do the work, if you work on yourself and connect to spirit and learn how to love things and how to do things from the heart, from the heart chakra, from love, and appreciate the small things about life, about nature, about humans, about animals, and um, live the hermit life and take some time for yourself and just learn about balancing out your energies, if you do that then you're gonna get love you're gonna get success you're gonna get peace harmony abundance mastery and eventually you're gonna become the hierophant isn't that wonderful the hierophant who is knowledgeable who has a lot of wisdom who has a lot of knowledge and who understands dogmas religions history and once you become the hierophant then you can actually truly officially start helping other people because now you're the hierophant and people will listen to you <laughs> but before you're still doing the work so once you become the hierophant then you can actually start helping others okay this is what i have for you it's a beautiful energy it's it was a such a mysterious reading i wasn't expecting it to be like this honestly um but um let me know in the comment section if it resonates with you Thank you very much for tuning in. I really appreciate your support. You guys are wonderful. Have an amazing day wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next reading.